the the name Glen Cadam comes from the area that it's built in, which was called Haim. Haim. Called Haim, like called Haim. No, it's not. Not it was called Haim. It was called called Haim. <laughs> I'm Jen. My name's Rachel. Welcome to our channel. We are Whiskey Geeks. Not Whiskey Snobs. So if you like all things whiskey. And you're not a snob. Subscribe. subscribe. We are trying a whiskey today that has long been talked about by fellow Whiskey Geeks that we've kind of never really tried all that much nope. probably. No. Nope. Um, we're trying Glen Cadam. Cool. Specifically the 15 year old. Yes. What do you know about Glen Cadam? Um, so it's in Brecon. Means nothing to me. <laughs> it's in... Angus. Slightly more. So like north of Dundee. Cool. Great. Got you. North of Dundee. Got you. Um, it is apparently the only distillery left in the Kingdom of Angus. Right. Um, and it was built there in 1825. Right. So it's another old... Age. It's an old one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, there's not all that much information about it online. Mm. I think it's just one of these old ones that's tr been trundling on for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, this is the 15 year old and I ca also cannot find what casks it's been in. I've not tried it yet so I don't know, we might be able to tell, but it, there's nowhere online what casks it's in. So I, if anyone knows. I feel like when we've looked up Glen Cadden before then there's a little bit of a lack of information about yeah, it. Yeah. Which I think often puts me off getting into Definitely, cause I feel can. I feel like because it's not got as much information it almost makes it like I feel like they're hiding something. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah. like it makes it cheaper or like less good in some way. And I feel like if you're willing to give all the information there must be something good about it. Yeah, definitely, like transparency. Yeah. I yeah. was looking for the ball, it's not is it chill filtered? It's unchill no, filtered. No, it's unchill filtered, no added colouring, forty six percent. But it does specifically say on everything that I could find about this one, it specifically says this one's bottled at a higher strength. So their usual range. So their is usual chill range must be chill filtered because it'll lower. be forty percent or maybe forty three. So I'm sure. I haven't looked. I'm sure I've had some before that were lower ABV and not forty six percent. Yeah, yeah. But Glen Cadam, um, the the name Glen Cadam, comes from the area that it's built in, which was called Haim. It was called. It was called called Haim. Called Haim. So Glen, like Cadam, comes from called Haim or Cad called Haim. Right. So which means um, it's like a farm, old farm. Cold is old and ham is farm or steading. Right. So that's why it's called Glen Cadam. Because mm. I was like looking for a Glen Cadam. Mm -hmm. But I don't think there is a Glen Cadam. Mm. It's, that's it. Was a little kind of, a, a, probably like a little hamlet called, mm -hmm. called Haim. So I wonder if that was Cadden. part of like the Scottishisation of distilleries and had to be Glen shoved I in the front. I think so, I think so. It used to just be Cadden like distillery. Like Glen Scotia and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put this yeah. over here before I cope it. Good plan. Uh, but yeah, it's owned by Angus Dundee. So they own, Ooh. Angus Dundee distillers, they own Glen Cadden and Tom and Till. Yes. Just the two, I think. Just the two, just the two. Ooh! Mars pan. Lemon! Lemony, lemony, lemony Mars pan. This uh, smells a lot lighter than I was expecting for a 15 year old. It's quite spicy. I feel like that got caught a wee bit in my nose. Yeah, it's, it's getting caught in like the front of my nose. Mm, it's fizzy. Fizzy, fizzy definitely. A wee bit tropical, pineapple, mm. pineapple fizzy juice. Thinner than pineapple juice, or mm. like tinned pineapple. Tinned pineapple juice. Tinned pineapple. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, so fizzy. So Feels fizzy like right up my nose. my nose. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, I love yeah. that. It's quite unusual, actually. It's so light. It's all high up and fizzy really and sweet, all up here. Like yeah. cotton candy grapes. I think more just like a, a generic green grape right now. It's got that, yeah, that's quite a bit of tartness. Yep, tart. Should we taste? Flange. Flange. Mmm. Mmm. So pineapple-y, but also oh, very soft. That's good. That's really tropical. That is lovely. I can see why people... I get that. ...like this, yeah. 
And then it gets hey, pa pineapple to kind of caramelized, caramelized, caramelized sugar. Light leather on the back as well. Light leather. The finish is quite long. Lots mm. of lemon. Lots like of lemon. Lemon drizzle cake. Lemon juice. No, lemon, lemon peel. Lemon yeah, juice. Yeah, yeah, And with sugar. Yep. Like crepes. Yeah. Crepes yeah. with lemon juice. Do you want a bit mm. of water? We could try it. I feel like I don't want to, but no. I feel like I, we should try it. I feel like I like it as it is, though. Oh, sorry, that was a wee bit... No, that's all right. Much water. Much oh, water. straight away flatter. It's lost its zing now. Yes, it has. It's a flatter pineapple. Yep. It's like just the juice out of the tin, not mm -hmm. the actual pineapple mm -hmm. now. I like the pineapple skin smells more like now. Mmm. Mmm. Not with water. So much flatter. It's lost its fizz. Mm -hmm. mm. It's still nice, though. It's still really nice. Mmm. Mmm, I've never really paid much mm. attention to that. And no, that actually and that's really, lovely. Really lovely, yeah. I buy that. That's right up my street. So the series that this bottling comes from is called The Rather Dignified. Right. What? So it's I a... don't know what that means. If you see, it's written on the bottle. Oh, right under your hand. The Rather Dignified Trademarked. I don't know why you've trademarked that. The rather dignified Highland single malt. So this is part of that range of whiskeys yeah, so or is it all a range of apparently called the rather dignified, That's which I think sounds a bit weird. I'm rather dignified. Don't yeah, you? it just sounds like you're trying to make it sound grander than it is. Like rather dignified. You don't need to tell us your whiskey is dignified. I was pleasantly surprised by that. I kind of hadn't. I'd looked by that and kind of didn't really think much of it. It's like Roy knows what he's talking about. It's like he does. <laughs> so thank you for putting us on to that, Roy. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, and all the barflies. Yes, yes, great. I'm going to drink more of that. Yeah, I think. I think so. I think so. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe down here for more and join us again next time. Bye. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. And you can follow us on social media at The Grail Tastings. See you next time. Slange. Can a taste be dignified? I like think it can. Dignified taste is a boring taste. Yeah. Like old cakes feel a bit dignified. Oh no, no I don't think they feel like they're good, proper, they're hearty. Old and steady. Yeah, old and steady.